everyone. I am back and I'm going to show you how to take your binder and make it beautiful. I use a binder for my book of shadows. I have several books of shadows, but by far I love the binder and here's why. When I have the binder and say I want to update a page or something and it's an irregular book, it, you can't just tear it out. I mean, you could, but then, you know, it's kind of messy. If you want to change something, which does happen frequently as you progress on your journey, the information you no longer need or new information you need to input, you can easily change out the sheets when you use a binder. So that's why I use one and that's why I recommend one for you to put all of your witchy facts and finds in there. Um, this is just a one inch binder. I suggest for a book of shadows, you actually use a two or three inch because they can get quite hefty. Um, but this one is just uh, going to be for my book of spells. I don't keep those in my book of shadows. They're separate. It's easier just to pull it and find what I'm looking for and keep notes <laughs> On the spell how it worked for me and stuff like that so I can always reflect back I also recommend dating everything you do and yeah so let's just get on with this because I could talk forever about spells I might even make a video <laughs> anyway so you just get your standard binder okay and then um, you'll need scissors Mod Podge just regular old Mod Podge if you want it uh, shiny then you get the glossy kind I'm going more for a matte finish, so mine is the matte kind. I do have glossy, but that's not what I want for this. Um, I have the Apple Barrel Paints. They're 50 cents a piece at Walmart. And by the way, you can get Mod Podge at a uh, Dollar Tree. So you can do this on a budget. I just use so much. I It wasn't budget friendly for me. <laughs> Aliens Tacky Glue. Now they do have a tacky glue at um, Dollar Tree. You can get a lot of your supplies from Dollar Tree. Um, I don't recommend E6000 for this, although this is a wonderful glue, and I know lots of people use it. That's why I'm saying I don't recommend it. E6000 warps and damages a lot of plastic, and this is plastic, so you probably, or it's got a plastic coating on it. It's probably not a good idea. Um, five, five eighths inch ribbon. Okay, that's for a detail. I got this a black a Victorian style trim. That's lace. I'm in love with that. And then a uh, uh, one eighth inch ribbon. This is a smaller ribbon. Let's see if I can open it and show you. It, it's it's very thin, and you do need a thin ribbon. You can skip whatever part of this you want. You can get whatever colors you want. And by the way, this five eighths inch ribbon they sell it at Dollar Tree, or at least my Dollar Tree. Now some have different, but you can choose whatever colors you want. I just wanted mine to be. Uh, a black Victorian style ish okay and then this ribbon came from Walmart it was 47 cents now this was a little more expensive I believe it was 544 but there's a lot on here because I uh, started this project messed it up and had to throw away some of this I was a little bit upset I don't like waste but the paint was stuck to it and there was just no fixing it so anyway <laughs> yeah um but this is a little bit of the pricier end. Now, sometimes you can find rolls of a ribbon at Dollar Tree. Like, you know, whatever. You, <clears throat> my point is this. Sorry, I ramble too much. <laughs> I realize that I'm trying to rein it in. Uh, my point is you make this your own project however you want to do it. But these are the things I've used to create it. Oh, but I forgot the most important part, the clasp. Okay, so I got these in the button section at Walmart. I absolutely love these. And um, the back of them have the stick out part. So it's not like a regular flat button. I mean, you might be able to make a flat button work, but I'm not really sure. So I would definitely stick with this. What we're going to be doing is poking a hole in both sides and then um, tying the button in there so that we can use the ribbon to clasp our journals closed it just adds an extra little mm, beauty to it so all right we're gonna get started we're gonna go ahead and get this painted and then once it's painted we'll apply Mod Podge and then we'll go on from there here we go we're gonna get started I mixed up my own paint it's a gray color Walmart didn't have the one I wanted so I used black and white to do so I'm gonna paint the whole thing 
here's a nice even coat, but make sure you get in all the cracks and crevices. Let it dry. Now we're gonna add Mod Podge, and we want a nice even coat. Now it's all dry. You're gonna add your ribbon. You want 10 pieces. You want them to be a little too long so you can fold them under and glue them in for extra durability. Now I got it on, just checking to make sure they're all stable. Next we're gonna do the ribbon. I'm checked the top, bottom, and I decide to go with it in the middle with two pieces because I really just love the way that looks. Use that paintbrush to I use that paintbrush to paint it on the glue so that I didn't make such a big mess. There it is, all done. Gorgeous, love it. So this was a necklace I had that it got broke. I ended up cutting the top of it off so I could use it as a middle piece. Next, we're gonna add the clasp. Um, this is a little bit of a pain in the ass because of the lace. There I'm using my ruler to measure directly in the middle. I do a lot of things here trying to get it big enough, but that lace kept getting in the way. At the end of this, you'll see that I um, skipped a little bit of the footage or lost it and you'll have to see on the back how I fix that. Here I'm just changing the drill bit to a bigger one to make it a little bit easier. Now we're on the back side. I'm just going to make it a little bit wider to make it easier. When I get the hole big enough I take the ribbon I feed it through and pull it in half and then tuck it down in there and pull it through the hole and then tie it in a knot in the back and voila now we're gonna take another ribbon and wrap around it and tighten a knot so you have your actual ties on the outside both on the front and back there it is I'm tying it together almost done now we're at the last step Here we are, finished.